I'm Vicki Dorch. Investigators released surveillance video of what they're calling the biggest pharmacy break in in Grayson County's history. Hundreds of bottles containing thousands of prescription pills and other drugs were stolen early last Friday morning, and investigators say the culprits have done this before. WLKY's Lauren Adams has more. Rick, the sheriff says this was a calculated burglary, one that went undetected until employees later showed up for work. The group he believes is linked to a series of other break ins, each one bigger than the last. It was the very cameras Jim Marshall installed inside the Clarkson drugstore that captured a calculated burglary early last Friday morning. The video shows two masked men, and he says it's unnerving to watch. They're right here behind the door. It's amazing that. Uh... Someone is inside your store doing that. And according to Sheriff Norman Chaffins, nothing about it says amateur. One of the suspects breaks into the roof. There's a second suspect, and we know there's a third because one of the men is heard on his cell phone talking to a lookout. Marshall says the pair took to his shelves like it was a grocery store. When they found something they wanted, they definitely just put it in their black trash bag, and you know they walked out of here uh, carrying trash bags. And the sheriff says they left nothing to chance. They waited and, and uh, tested the alarm system to see if anybody was going to respond. We knew that, so we knew that this is not their first burglary. In fact, he believes the group is tied to a series of other pharmacy break-ins, but thanks to evidence, he believes their luck is running out. I feel confident that we'll find out who, who burglarized it this last time and even saw from some previous, previous burglaries as well. But in the meantime, Jim Marshall says he'll keep his doors open and his head up, just like his father, who started the business, always did. He, uh, been through hard times and and he always found a, found a way to make things work and uh, we will do that too. Marshall's pharmacy was also hit twice last year. He tells me he's already installed a better alarm system and added additional cameras both in and outside his store. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. All right, thanks, Lauren. Now, Jim Marshall does have insurance, but he's not sure how much of the loss will be covered. Investigators won't put a price on the amount of drugs stolen, but say. Whatever the value, it could easily fetch double or triple that on the streets. Anyone with information is urged to call the Grayson County Sheriff's Office. That number you see on your screen. New tonight at 11.